tea. Let's go. Good luck, tea. I've been waiting for a challenge like this for a long time now. Bring on the rib cap. It's time for me to shine as an individual, Chef. OK. It's all about excellence at this point. Describe the dish, please. Chef, I just made a mustard jus, placed it on a bed of vegetables, bacon, and some mushroom, Chef. Mm -hmm. Wow. You've cooked it beautifully. Thank I mean, you, it's chef. absolutely nailed. And the whole thing is cohesive. Definitely worth it, sitting on the throne. Good job. Thank Thanks, you. Chef. While T gets comfortable in the chair of honor. The question is, will you remain in the throne? Um, Millie, let's go. The blue team hopes Millie can unseat her with his New York strip and rosemary fondue. Damn, that is literally teetering on the edge of raw. You will not be sitting in the throne. Damn, what a shame. With Millie's meat too raw to even be considered. Let's go. It's Josh's turn to try and take over the throne with his pomegranate and fig porterhouse. A lot of people like to start with the filet first. Thank you for that. It comes with instructions. I'm sorry. No, no, it doesn't. Oy vey. It's overcooked. The filet completely screwed. I've gone from one extreme to the other. Piss off. I was pissed at myself. You don't want to go up in front of the best chef in the world and just give him garbage. Queen T, you could win a few team if you remain in that seat. Uh, next up, Megan. Megan. Let's go. I definitely think I have this in the back. Uh, I did a seared porterhouse, red wine demi sauce with some mushrooms. How'd you get it so melting in the mouth like that? I made love to it. Put it in the oven, took it out, put it in, took it out. <laughs> The question is, is it good enough to replace teas? It's really tough. <sighs> Megan, the chair's yours. Great dish. Good job. Thank you for it. Wow, it's delicious. Well, I get the throne. <laughs> See ya, <you>, tea. <laughs> Megan, you only have one more challenger. Michelle. Michelle has an awesome palate and she can cook. Michelle with the flank. So I'm getting a little nervous, but the steak that I made was a fucking steak. It wasn't flank steak. Flank is literally a, a sear and a sear. Grilled flank that's seasoned with salt, pepper, and uh -huh. chili powder, black bean puree, and mango, pepper, salsa. Wow. That's delicious. I mean, you've got the cheapest cut, one of the most awkward, but it's a really good dish. Thank you, Chef. Two great dishes. A beautifully well-executed classic. And here we have a cheap cut elevated to the Premier League. Um, this is so hard. Megan, give Michelle the seat, please. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Megan is a really tough competitor in this competition. Wow. And I just beat her with a flank steak. <laughs> I am the queen of the day. Hi, guys. The fourth course is meat. Andrew. This is a grilled ribeye with an oxtail mushroom sauce and white peaches. And the idea of serving white peaches with uh, ribeye came from where? We thought they looked pretty and seemed like good accompaniment with the ribeye. I didn't know what the hell was going on with the peaches. Ralph decided to grill them and put them alongside the steak. Grilled ribeye, grilled white peaches. Yeah, baby. I've never seen a peach with a ribeye. I'm dying to see how it tastes. So am I. That doesn't work. Fucking disgusting. How does that look? They look very different. Although they're steak on a plate, technically, they're all presented with a unique vision in mind. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Let's begin with Ashley. Uh, please describe your dish to Chef. What I did for you today is a Southwestern-style filet. I rubbed it with pasilla pepper and smoked chili powder. And the side that I have for you is a grilled poblano pepper. And the veg that I have is all sauteed in chipotle butter, so that all three components combine really well. My dish looks sexy, just like me, so I know that I am ready to go. You definitely left the steak in the foreground, let it speak for itself, which is cooking is what a steak is all about. Thank you. The pepper is a little bit undercooked. Okay. It definitely needs to like maybe cook with the steak and baste it a little bit or braise it even. Uh, great effort. Perfectly cooked in the middle. Thank yeah. you, Chef. Uh, good. What a great start. 
Ariel, please describe your dish to Chef. Chef, I'll start with the steak. I did a roasted garlic and plebano pepper butter for the corn, so some of the oil that was left over from the garlic I poured over the steak to kind of baste it. Um, I also put some of the butter on the steak and some grilled pineapple. And then the other side is spaghetti squash with a cipollini onion and bacon vinaigrette with some fennel as well. Wow. Good flavor. Beautifully seasoned. The temperature on the protein is spot on. Absolutely. The squash is delicious. There's a lot going on there. There is a lot in that little dish, but that's, I wanted to have a lot of flavor. Overall, yeah. well executed. Strong effort. Thank you, Chef. Kristen, please describe your dish to Chef. I have a bacon and gorgonzola potato puree, and I have a grilled asparagus, just seasoned with salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic shallot, and my ribeye with a red wine demi, grilled and finished in a cast iron for a little bit more char. Beautifully cooked. Wow, delicious. This has got to be a good thing. Like, he's drooling over my ribeye right now. <laughs> Definitely caramelization on both sides, flavor through and through. It's very difficult to nail potatoes. That's why it's a sign of a good chef is a great potato dish. Now, Chef Ari, I mean, these three um, reiterate to me that we have definitely got the three most talented chefs in this competition. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Three good efforts. Yeah. Um, now for the hard part. Ari, which dish would you prefer? All Kristen did was typical steakhouse, potatoes and veg. I thought outside the box and I did something completely different. I got it. It's a difficult decision. Uh, that's why you're here. I have faith in my dish. It tastes good, and it's the most outstanding compared to everyone else. Uh, ladies, we're struggling. Um, this is down to the tiny detail, because you've nailed the protein. Let's get that right. I'm so nervous. I'm hoping my sides complement it as well as I think they do. Is it Ashley's bone-in filet, Ariel's New York strip, or Kristen's ribeye? Which dish would you prefer? For my flavor profile, the way I like to eat a steak, I would have to say Kristen's ribeye. Wow. Thank you, Chef. Well done. Well done. Oh my god, like I'm I'm elated. I'm on cloud nine right now. I kept my dish simple and it came out ahead. Thank you, Jeremy. Chef, I prepared a uh, stuffed steak with smoked gouda. And your job is? I'm a lead cook, Chef. And what is that? A ribeye? Yes. Why well no, you... it's not a ribeye, Chef. What is it? I think it's a uh, I think it's a... Uh, I think it's a ribeye. I'm sorry, Chef. You think it's ribeye? Yes, it Chef. It looks like a ribeye. I believe it is a ribeye, Chef. <laughs> so you're a lead cook and you haven't got a fucking clue what you're cooking? Pretty much, Chef. I'm sorry. Just ask it. Yes. This is your dish. When you slice into a steak of that quality, you destroy the fibers and the texture because you're stuffing it. Sorry, Chef. Mary, let's go. Go, Mary. I'm sitting up there on this hot spot, and I'm confident in my dish, but there's still three strong chefs in my way. Mary, first signature dish was a seared duck breast. Didn't go down that well, did it? No, chef. The duck is uh, still raw in the middle. Congratulations, you certainly butchered your dish. What's this? I did a pan-seared filet, the sauce. I reduced red wine, some jus, some chicken stock with figs, mm -hmm. you know, a little bit of shallots and garlic. Mm -hmm. The fillet's cooked beautifully. Thank you, Chef. I mean, really, beautifully done. But you spoil it with this heavy, so overreduced sauce. It's almost like you've got paint on your plate. It's such a shame. Yes, you're not taking John's place. OK, thank you, What chef. a shame. Woo! <laughs> Two more to go. I hope I survive this. Next, Zach, let's go. Woo! I'm ready. I'm feeling great about my dish. And my pride as a chef is, is at stake. Zach, Vegas, you made a pork chop with a apple and fig puree, right? Yes, chef. Combination with the apple, um, fig. The dish tastes nice. Unfortunately, the protein, yeah, is slightly dry. Pork was slightly overcooked, but you had some good flavors. Right, and I want to see how far you've come. Um, this is uh, my twist on surf and turf. It's uh, filet medallions at the bottom. Um, Where's the filet? The prongs are actually sitting on the filet. Oh, wow. The prawns are dominating that. It's like prawns attack. <laughs> and that's not filet. That's filet, chef. How did you get them so perfectly round? I, I cut them in half and I took the circle thing and I, you know, made it into medallion shape, you chef. Cut a medallion from a medallion. Yes, chef. Where's the rest of it? Uh, 
Or on the next menu, I'll be using that for a tartare. Oh. Utilizing rest. everything. Oh, OK. Are you kidding me? When I smell bullshit, I know it and I call it. And I smell bullshit with this whole, I'm going to make steak tartare. Oh, Zach. That's the first time I've ever seen anyone cut a fillet with a cutter. Yeah, I was kind of thinking out the box. And uh... the thing here is, you've got the balance upside down. I want more fillet on there. One little portion that's come out of a doll's house. Is that better than John's dish? No, it's not. Good effort, though. Thank you. Bruce, Todd and I are going to look at all your dishes, and then we are only going to taste the ones that are visually appealing, because it has to be eye-catching. OK, chefs, bring up your dishes, please. Let's go. My presentation is spot fucking on. Rustic, contemporary, sexy. I already have one of the judge's eyes just staring at my butcher's block. Wow. Wow, that's right. Wow, wow, wow. Gentlemen, I mean, this is a tough question, but visually, let's go for our top three that you'd like to taste. Um, this steak that's right in front of me, it's beautiful. It has perfect grill marks. It's beautifully garnished. And next to the sliced filet mignon, this is a really outstanding presentation. Yeah, I agree. I also really enjoy this strip. This is beautiful. Fuck. Is there another one that we can get down to the top three? Pick me, pick me, pick me. It looks good. Come on, you got to pick me. I have to say, I'm a real sucker again for the grill Strip. marks. OK. Rose, Santos's, and Sade's. Those are the top three. Oh, my god, that kills me. I just cooked a steak that was awesome. And you're not even going to taste mine. That's bullshit. Natasha, Jennifer, and Brian, come pick up your steaks. Thank you. I'm just irritated as all hell. Because I think I would have won it based on fucking flavor alone. Bro, please describe your dish. Um, I did a his and hers plate, a grilled ribeye for the male, petite filet for the lady. I did Swiss chard, and the potatoes on the side are manchego and truffle oil dressed. And the idea of his and hers, where did that come from? Every time I send my parents Omaha steaks, I need to send ribeyes for my dad and filets for my mom, so. Um... <laughs> we love customers like you. <laughs> come on, bro. You don't need to kiss their ass any more than you already are. Todd, how was that for you, sir? Describe the flavor. The tenderloin um, is perfect, and the smoky barbecue sauce is really good. The ribeye is perfectly cooked. Found the seasoning a little overpowering, but not very much. Interesting. Bruce, how was that for you? Delicious. They're both cooked perfectly. You can cook at my house anytime. Thank you. Wow. Anytime. Really? Ro? She's already got a fucking attitude, like she thinks she's the fucking hot shit here. Give me a break. Today, please. What I have for you today is a dry rub New York strip with cinnamon, a little bit of cayenne, Cajun seasoning, some African pepper. What? Crazy cinnamon, African pepper. Where? I've never even heard of that shit. Bruce, how was today's for you? It was delicious, but the cinnamon isn't something I'm accustomed to, honestly. No. It overpowers the beefy taste. Todd, how was that for you, sir? This steak is perfectly cooked. It's still a contender for me. OK, great. And finally, Santos, please describe your dish. I hickory smoked my steak first, and then I gave it a nice dry rub with mustard, paprika, salt and pepper, a little bit of coriander. How was that for you, Bruce? Fabulous. 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 Cooked perfectly. Uh-huh. Todd. I really enjoyed that. It's a very impressive steak. Three phenomenal attempts. Thank you, chef. Gentlemen, have a discussion between you. Oh, I agree. I agree. I agree. Please, I can see myself on that billboard. Wouldn't you buy a steak from this face? As a marketing campaign, you can do Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I am going to win this challenge. Come on, guys. Just, you know it's me. You know it. Go ahead and say it. I'm all over it. <laughs> come on. Come on, judges. My dish is the best dish up here. Yeah. Yep. Very. Uh, this is tough. It's so close. There is one that stands out. The winner of this challenge is Ro. Yes. Great job. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Seriously Great love your stakes. Oh, I can even talk. It's so exciting. Finally, a challenge win, and it's a big one. Suck it. Cindy and John are the first to face off in the steak challenge. It's a wild mushroom dusted porterhouse, and I had a black garlic, thyme, rosemary, butter. Perfect medium rare. Thank you, chef. With that porterhouse, really hard to do. Really nice flavor. Beautiful. Thank you, chef. Great job. Good job, Cindy. Uh, John. The sauce is blackberries, a little black garlic, a hint of lavender. Yeah, you've cooked a perfect Thank medium you, rare. Thank you, chef. Bold move then. Blackberries, right? Yes. Um, it's paid off. It's delicious. Thank you, chef. The point goes to 
Tough one. John, great job. Thank well you. done. Thank you. Good job, Johnny. Can't we both get a point? You're killing me here, Chef Ramsay. Good job, Chef. OK, next up, Battle of Filet. The men are off to an early lead. It's now up to Nedra and Susan, who worked on the filet together, to get the red team on the board. I have a filet encrusted and Chinese peppercorn and pink peppercorn, some lemon zest with a touch of mustard seed. I wanted to kind of also glaze my filets, add a little bit of water to it, some orange juice, let that reduce down, and I kind of just marinated my steak along with that. Zach used, like, 55 ingredients just to make a filet mignon. I mean, I just don't really get it. Temperature-wise, you've nailed a perfect medium rare. Thank you, chef. But is it supposed to be that sweet? Yes. Right, thank you. Nedra. I have um, a raspberry chipotle sauce with a little fresh mint. A medium rare, beautifully done. Thank you, chef. Um, tough one. You take that heat. Delicious. Uh, point goes to both of you. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. Thank you, Good Thanks job. Chef Zach, bust it out. We got a point. Chef Zach, I cook my ass off. I cook my ass off. 